Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to find all, sim all possible simple paths from one node to another in any graph whether it is directed or indirected. So I am going to use a simple DSS search, depth per search to go from a source to destination using all the simple paths possible. Simple path meaning that no edge is repeated in that path. So let's get started. I'll be using an adjacency list to represent the graph. For that, I'll be using a vector of wind and an array of that. And let's take the size as something like this. So inside here, I'll be taking in the edges. And for this video, I'll be doing it for an indirected graph, but you can use it for, for directed even. So while edges minus minus, and first I need to take this same edges. So while I just minus minus, I'll take in the two nodes which are connected to each other. So cn x, cn y, and g of x dot push back y in the adjacent list of x, we have y because they are connected. And g of y dot push back x. So as I'm taking this to be an directed graph, if x is connected to y, then y is connected to x. But if this this is an undirected graph, and if x is connected to y, then y is not connected to x. But this is a undirected graph. So x to y means y to x is also possible. Okay, so with this, I've created the adjacency list. Now I'll be having a visited array. And let's take the size of something like this 0. And here I'll be taking edges only as 6. So I'm taking the size as this only, but you can change the size according to the number of nodes. So we got the visited array. Now I'll be having a vector called vector of int called path. And path will have my source vertex. So here I'll say source is equal to 1. And in the example that I'm going to take, I want to go from or let's say fine int u comma v c in u v so now we want to find all possible paths from u to v all possible simple paths yeah so u is my source v is my destination so i have a vector path and in the path, I'll be pushing in u. I'll be using this as a stack, but it's fine because vector can also be used as a stack. So I'm putting in, I'm pushing in u, which is my source vertex, and I'll be putting on top of it the vertices that I will be visiting. So now the path only has the source vertex. Now I'll call the DFS, and in DFS, I'll be putting my visited array, my source, my destination and the path and I haven't created the DFS function so void DFS and I took a visited array and the size was 1000 yeah and I took u I took v and I took a vector of int called path okay now suppose that u is v that means that we've found our destination we've come to our destination so all the vertices that led to this just print all of those so for enter is equal to zero path dot size all the vector inside path size plus plus, plus real of i space and real and line. So this will give me one path from u to v. Now if it is not u is not equal to v, then we'll look for the then we'll look for the neighbors of u if u is not equal to v. So i is equal to zero, i less than g of u dot size in the adjacency list of u, i plus plus and let's say 
the neighbor of u is y y is equal to g of u of i now if y if visited of y is equal to 0 uh, yeah we have to make u as visited because we just visited u so visitor of u is equal to 1 okay so if visited of y is 0 that means we haven't visited it so first I'll be making it as visited so visited of y is equal to 1 then I'll be pushing this in my path so path dot push back y then I'll do a DFS with y as my source so visited y the destination remains the same comma path so what I'm doing is I'm taking in the source and after the source if I found a vertex which is not the destination then I put that into the path and I am looking for all paths from that vertex and after that after this when this ends we would have found all the possible paths from that so we'll just remove that so path dot pop back so after we pushed in y we did the dss from y and using that we found all the possible paths from y and so now y is no longer needed so path dot pop back y okay now there's one more thing you should do after the else this is after else yeah after the else you should make visited of u is equal to 0 so we just visited u and we made it 1 but after we found all possible paths from that we have to make it 0 also because again using u only there might be several other paths so if we don't make visited of u is equal to 0 if we don't do this we'll get we'll lose some path so I think I got all the code so let's check it out okay so the edges I'm giving as 7 and 1 to 2 is connected 2 to 3 is connected 3 to 5 is connected 2 to 4 is connected 4 to 5 is connected 1 to 5 is connected 5 to 6 is connected okay, 1 2 3 4 5 6 turn. and I want to find all the possible paths from 1 to 6 so from 1 to 6 and these are my edges okay so I have 1 to 2 to 3 to 5 to 6 so I can go 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 5 and 5 to 6 I can go 1 to 2 2 to 4 4 to 5 5 to 6 and I can go 1 to 5 to 6 so you can draw the graph using the edges you can draw the graph and see if the answers are correct or not it is because I checked it so this is a very simple method with which you can find all the possible paths from u to v but it is very time consuming because you are you are finding all the possible paths and from those you are finding from u to v and it can be used for directed also you just make it that way so